Hello everybody, I am Sin vs Gaming as you all might know, and today I am here to show you guys the Sonic Generations configure to tool error, excuse me. And I will also be showing you today how to fix your uh, save f your save error. Uh, I got this on a question on my last video uh, by Windbreaker HD. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. So uh, I will first show you how to fix the save error because it is the easiest thing in this whole uh, spew of everything to fix. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to show multiple ways of getting to your Sonic Generations folder. Uh, this first way is going to be through Steam. So we have our whole list of games here on the left. Go ahead and find your Sonic Generations. Right click it, go to properties. And just go to your local files tab right there at the very top. Click browse local files. Now you should be at the Sonic Generations folder. Now if you don't have Steam open but you still want to fix this, you can go ahead and go to the bottom left of your screen, go ahead and click the start button, and go to computer. Now I do have Sonic Generations stored on a separate hard drive. But today, I am going to show you how you would regularly get to it. So you double click on your C drive, which is your Steam drive, or wherever you installed Steam on. Now there's going to be two program files folders. Now, this is going to be a little bit important. If you have a 64-bit a, a system, you're going to want to go to program files x86. If you have a PC that only has program files, that means you have a 32-bit system. Uh, that isn't a huge deal, just make sure if you have a 32-bit system, you're going into program files, not program files x86, or else you will not be able to find the Steam folder. So I run on a 64-bit system, uh, operating system, Windows, as you can tell. So, let's go ahead and open up Program Files x86. And I'm going to just scroll down here until I find Steam right there. Now it's a little hard to see. Let's see if I can go ahead and stro scroll in there. There we go. Right there. Steam. Uh, most people's folders will look more like this. So just scroll down until you find Steam and you should be all fine. Go ahead and open it up. And oh goody, more files to search to. This one's actually pretty easy to find. It's just called Steam Apps. Just look for Steam again. Go one under and it should be Steam Apps. Go ahead and open that up. Here we go. We're in another folder. And there's a folder in it called Common. Go ahead and open that. And this is where your all your games should be stored. Now I have it I have Sonic Generations on a different hard drive. So I'm gonna navigate over there. And as you see, I have all my games here, and here is Sonic Generations. So if you have had Sonic Generations before, you should know how to uh, delete some files and all that type of stuff. But most importantly, if you've used Windows, we're going to go ahead and click on your Sonic Generations application. Right-click it. Go ahead and click Properties. Now you are going to need to be an administrator to do this next next step. So if you're not an administrator on your PC, go ahead and get a the administrator of your PC to go ahead and do this next step for you. I'm going to go to compatibility. Run this program in administrator as an administrator. We're going to need to have that checked. Go ahead and click apply. Now at that point you should have a prompt coming up saying hey we need your username and password if you're not already an administrator. But if you're already an administrator you're fine and you don't have to worry about that. So we can go ahead and click OK. And there you go. That should be fine. You should be able to be fine with the save, uh, the save error. So now it is time for me to show you how to fix the real error which most of you are here for 
the sudden generations configure tool error. So um, it's time to fix that. Let's go ahead and go to this folder. If you don't not already at this folder, showed you how to do that earlier in the video. So you're going to have to find every single file with .cfg in it. Well, at the very end, at least. So there should be at least three to four folders. If there is not a fourth one, do not worry about it. It's not important. So we're going to have to delete each one of these. So go ahead and select them all by control clicking and then delete. There you go. So that should be fixed. So if we go ahead and run the Sonic Generations now. Oh, yep, there we go. It's asking me if I want to run it as administrator. You're going to have to say yes. But no valid configuration file found. So this is where you have to actually run your configuration tool. Let's go ahead and head into Steam. Click play. Let's go ahead and select configure, not play Sonic Generations. Here we go. Now there's four tabs at the top. Go to configuration. Now just go ahead and set up your settings to however you set up your computer or how beefy your computer is. I have a pretty beefy computer, but I can't record it completely at the max frame rate. So let's go ahead and save and quit that. There we go. And now, if we minimize it, go ahead and launch it up again. Oh, yep, there we go. It should be asking. You guys can't see this, but it should be asking if you want to run in administrator mode. Go ahead and say yes. And there we go. I am going to have to quickly switch over to the Sonic Generations recording. And there we go. Uh, we should be just fine. Oh, it looks like it's not recording. Let's go ahead and fix this so you guys can see the video capture real quick. So it is going to be a little bit laggy. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's because I'm recording with my monitor capture. But here we go. Uh, Everything is running. It has launched up. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. There's no save file found, so let's go ahead and click new game. Let's go ahead and see if this is working. Uh, remember, this is 60 FPS. It's just that it's laggy on my end, on your guys' end, because I am recording in a windowed mode. Oh. There we go. And, uh, uh, uh. Uh, seems pretty easy. It seems like it's running just fine. So yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed that fix. I think it was a very simple fix for anyone who has done the research. Or has looked around very simply. But, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.